Hey there, I'm just going to introduce you to the latest firmware for the Deep Throat Trainer. This is DTT version 2.0, and it's available to anyone who's got any active subscription on the dashboard. So that includes Ultra, Premium, uh, sorry, that includes Ultra, Pioneer, and Founder users. Uh, if you are any of those subscribers, then just turn on your device, connect to the internet, and you'll be able to access the beta release of this code. If you want to try it out, just grab a quick subscription, do the same, and you'll be able to, to test it before anyone else. Uh, in the future, I'm going to give you a lot of vi different videos and tutorials breaking down all the new features. Today, I'm just going to give you the briefest intro so you can understand what's being shipped in version 2.0. Let's turn this on. And we'll see pretty quickly. There are some new updates, new icons in the top right, for instance, that show you uh, your battery level and Wi-Fi status. You no longer have to guess. And in the bottom, we see... Um, the standard options to enter the Wi-Fi setup mode, very familiar to anyone who's used the DTT before, but also if I hang out here for a second, we'll see the newest, dearest feature for many users. That circle in the bottom right is gonna time out and then automatically continue. We haven't completed this feature yet, but eventually you'll be able to set up hands-free mode. So for you self-bondage lovers, you'll be able to do DTT sessions that do not require you to press the button to start. That's pending. But in the meantime, we do see that part of that is completed. I've just connected to the internet and done the standard thing where I go and grab my latest settings. And what this will now do is show you uh, the title of your settings and a description. In this case, I'm running default settings with a test description and I'm showing an icon. Now, uh, for the launch, for the beta users, you will not be able to customize the icon. Um, but in the future, every single bit of text and icon present on the screen at any point will be customizable and manageable by the top or the DOM in the relationship. Uh, after displaying the settings, we'll show you information about the toy. You'll notice that I'm also not touching buttons. It is automatically progressing through. Toys can now be set per session so that if you wanted to say, always do your Wednesday training with a specific toy, uh, you can set that up in the dashboard for, again, Ultra members, but also um, get information to your bottom right on the device. They know what they have to mount. We don't have any verification system for this yet, but we're, we're doing some thinking about that too. Last bit of information is, of course, the specific segment you'll be running. This is a repetition session. Once all three have passed through, in this case, since we don't have auto autoplay enabled as a feature, you do have to press play to begin. My countdown starts. Three, two, one. Now, on screen, if I put my hand here, you'll notice a couple of things. First off, we have the standard interaction that you come to expect, where as you get closer, your little character, oh, here he is, ah, he's got to stay inside of a box, and this will increase or decrease your grade as you play. What's different here? Well, a lot of our longtime users are going to notice this feels very snappy, very, very responsive. Uh, it's actually running at 120 frames per second. This is on your standard firmware, sorry, your standard hardware with no upgrades. So we're jumping up from about eight frames per second on DTT 1.0 to 120. It's a pretty significant boost. Of course, it goes without saying that there are now uh, characters on screen. In this case, I've got a little frog set. And for the beta release, you will not be able to customize this, but long-term, the intent is that you'll be able to purchase new characters, design new characters, upload anything you like, and play as any little dude that could be rendered in uh, a pixel drawing. I think the size right now is about 24 pixels by 24 pixels, but we might have a little bit of flexibility there. Now, of course, I have a repetition mode, so I'm gonna to try to complete it. Uh, it's a little hard with the hand. <laughs> That's what she said. Excuse the joke. Okay, I think I might have a developer mode on here where I get to bypass this. Let's try that out. Perfect. So, using my developer mode, I was able to skip the training session. And I can see an icon, a grade, and a description. Again, as promised, this will be fully customizable. So you can imagine that if you're a pro dom, you want to have a very, very specific failure icon and a very specific failure message. Perhaps it's a task that they have to complete. 
if they get below 28%. That's something that we will allow you to customize going forward. Uh, today, this will be the static presets that I've created for you, uh, but let your imagination run wild. All right, as I continue here, it's gonna click forward to the next session. In this case, I've completed the one segment that was present inside of my settings. Um, but there's something here that you should be aware of that's lurking below the surface in a very good way. There are infinite sessions now. I, I should be a little bit more careful saying that. Um, we're going to release, as part of the beta, perhaps a fast follow, support for 100 segments inside of any given training session. However, there is no more limitation. Uh, it could be an infinite number of segments. So that means you could do repetition 500 times and then endurance 600 times rather than just three segments, which is the current production standard. Um, I'll give you more release notes on that in the future. Uh, today, if you download the beta, you will still just have three. We have a bit more dashboard work to do to support this, but uh, three factor on DTT version two uh, no longer has any limitations. Perfect. All right, now we've gone back into the start of play. Uh, and previously on the Deep Throat Trainer version one, it would require you to play whatever you had already. Uh, so if you had settings, let's call them settings for Wednesday at 10 a.m., then in Deep Throat Trainer one, if you were to say replay at the end of your session, you would have to play those settings again. And if you wanted to download new settings, you would need to restart. It's no longer the case. So after every single uh, setting is completed, we go and hit the database one more time and see if there's something new. So for instance, if you're in the middle of completing your settings, you finish all the segments, and at some point during all that work that you're doing, uh, your partner changed your active settings, then you will download the next set of settings automatically. This will be especially useful for those who are doing things like exclusively using the AI trainer. Uh, it will allow you to run infinite uh, settings with this AI trainer and always receive whatever the latest is that's feeding up for you. Let's see, what else is new here? Certainly there's quite a bit. Uh, there's certain, I know there's some stuff that I haven't mentioned just because uh, truth be told, everyone who's watching, it's late for me, <laughs> but just wanted to make sure you got a bit of a bit of a sneak peek. I'll release more details as we go, but um, Ultra members, very excited to get your feedback and anyone who wants to give this a shot. Yeah, just grab a quick Ultra subscription um, and let me know what you think.